Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your driver's display on Ford Focus so that you have your speed, your current speed displayed on it. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to tell a little bit about this car. Uh, this is Ford Focus ST Line um, as it is sold in Europe, in Germany. Uh, it's probably MK3 judging by this screen, which is about seven inches across uh, diagonally, uh, the Focus, Ford Focus ST MK4 is 13 inch, so it's got a different screen. Uh, and this this exact car is produced in 2019, uh, but I got it straight from the straight from the factory, basically. So um, the uh, uh, the registration date on this one is like a couple days before I got the car. Um, so basically I got the car in the factory condition. It's very new. And one thing that bothered me, so the car has got a very nice keyless start feature. Uh, and a lot of things going on as you started. But um, the notorious problem was that um, this little display right here uh, wasn't showing me the current speed so you can see that there's a current speed limitation down there uh, and there's of course the classical um, gorge for the speed right there on the right side but uh, the current speed as you go we can start the car basically and try it I wasn't there right so that's that's a bit of a problem. Um, on my previous cars, I had it displayed right there, so it was a little bit bothersome for me not to have it here. And so, um, so I started looking across the whole internet, as usual, and turns out Ford makes a lot of updates on their cars uh, and it's not that easy to find the information on how to show this uh, on your on screen. So if you flip with this uh, rocker key, it's not uh, like it's not one position key, you can actually rock it up and down. You can see that there are various screens up there and basically this one is one of the most useful ones uh, when you are standing. Um, you can set up your car through it. Uh, but otherwise, uh, okay, so th I hope that this one, uh, the, the, the screen that I currently have on, uh, would be showing the speed, but it doesn't. Uh, even in the, you know, in the traffic conditions, not in this almost standing position. Um, not in the, you know, driving through the parking, uh, parking lot mode. Um, so basically... Mm, I was looking for how to set it up and nobody was able to actually tell, uh, which is why I'm going to show you here. Uh, you might notice that each time there on the right of the, of the screen, uh, there's this icon showing you that there's probably some menu and indeed there's this menu button on the right. So if you flip through these screens with this rocker button down to this uh, not very much useful empty screen called my view um, and then press the menu button there's actually a menu coming up right there where there's this digital speedometer um, so that's quite easy and then you can still keep all the other screens if you need this uh, driver assistance information on your screen which I don't find very useful because each time it pops up when there's something changing on the road um, you might also want to switch to you know digital compass and so on but uh, again there's this current digital speed which is quite useful but also if you flip further through this menu down here there's this echo coach, which shows even a little bit more than that. Although it 
covers up the um, on the garden speed limitation information quite a bit but uh, still you can read out everything and it basically suggests you the driving modes over there so um, that's that's one thing and there's a bonus here in this video since you made this far I'm also going to show you where the OBD drive is on this car so basically for the OBD drive you should open the door you could expect it right here down there there's no door or anything and if you look down there it's actually mounted right over here so I got a thing sticking in it but yeah So it's not protected by any door. It's not somewhere inside. It's not the in the glove box. It's down there, right under the steering wheel. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. And hopefully I will find some more useful information about this car. Make sure to come back.